Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Land Rover Discovery Sport, then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre TD4 SE Tech Auto four-wheel drive. 2016 on a 16 plate, one owner from new, has seven seats, full service history as you would expect, has done 20,949 miles. Fuel economy urban is 44.8 extra urban 60.1 and combined is 53.3 so incredible figures there for a for a seven seater to 60 time 8.4 seconds top speed of 170 miles per hour out of 178 brake horsepower 16 valve engine road tax is 79 pounds 75 for six months 12 months is 145 pounds it's MOT'd until the 10th of the 3rd, 2020, although we'll get that done again, so it'll, it'll have a full 12 months. It was serviced on the 3rd of the 2nd, 2018, at 11,462 miles by Beadle's Land Rover. It's another beautiful car we've got in stock. If you took the number plates off it, you'd think it was brand new. It's that nice, inside and out. We've got uh, the front parking sensors there. Multi-spoke alloys, power folding door mirrors. Has mud flaps all round and it's sat on what looked to be almost new uh, Pirelli Scorpion. So great tires there too. We've got remote boot release and it's power open and power close. The, the person that's had this I always like to see it's got the big thick heavy duty uh, rubber load liner or load cover we've got the load cover at the top here it's a seven seat so there's two more seats under there that, that fold out really nice condition nothing scuffed it just looks like it's brand new nothing's been chucked in the back it's uh, it's it's just a lovely car Got the integrated spoiler there on the tailgate and also reversing sensors in the bumper. The big heavy duty mats in the back and they're, they're the type that you can lift out as a tray and uh, anything that's on them, chuck them out without it all uh, folding and all the stuff dropping off inside the car anyway. The seats are, are really, really comfortable. And it's this, uh, the, the back seats are probably four or five inches higher than the front seats. So you can see over, you've got a good view of what, what's coming ahead and uh, not just the back of the, the driver's seat or the passenger seat. Really, really nice car. They, they've, uh, every, everybody should have one. It's beautiful to drive. And this is a, a fantastic example. Um, it, it's just it's just lovely. It's it's leather and cloth. But having said that, the cloth panels are just here where you where you sit and your lower back. Um, so as I've said before, I like the look look of leather, but I prefer to sit on cloth, especially in the the summer. It's uh, it's not too cold when you get in in winter, and it's not too hot when you get in in, in summer. So it, it's a real good combination. You've got the Isofix um, child seat anchor points in the back here. Whoops. Rear center armrest, bit of storage space there, and two cup holders. The, the brushed aluminium around the door handles here, and the brushed aluminium door handle too. Airbags in the A, B, and C pillars. A uh, nice grab handle here to help you get in and out. It's a lovely car. I'll just take you for a, a drive in it. I've got to say, I'm looking forward to this. It's the first new shape discovery that I've actually driven. So here we go. <coughs> now it's uh, keyless go. So uh, just put the thing in. Oh, that's a handy thing. What's that come out for? Ah, wow. 
Wow. <laughs> it's, it's a secret cubby hole that the previous owner's forgotten. Flipping out, there's some money in there. I'll have to, uh, right, well that's obviously going to uh, rattle about, so we'll put that somewhere where it's not going to get caught. I didn't even know that existed. Where's it not going to rattle now? Hopefully in there. So keyless, keyless go. Well, uh, there's the start button. Got uh, height and reach adjustable steering wheel there. And we've got the um, the the round gear selector, which I like. Um, so anyway, I'll just take you for a ride in it just before we go. There we go. Power folding door mirrors. This this car's like brand new, inside and out. Let's move that. I'm pretty sure there won't be anything wrong with this. lovely to drive I must admit when I first saw these discoveries on the motorway uh, one overtook me on the motorway and it was w the one with the offset rear number plate and I thought wow that's that's hideous <laughs> and then when you think back the old discoveries they they had the number plate the square number plate at one side and to be honest <laughs> you can't see the number plates when you're driving it uh, and I've only driven it from the garage to here to photograph it and it drives lovely feels like a feels like a Range Rover Sport really um, just that bit bigger oh dear not sure what's going on there but here's me with a, a big camera on my roof <laughs> asking asking for a pull uh, anyway and uh, that was that was where I was just going to pull over to take it off. So we'll just have to go a bit further. Nice to drive. Soaks up the bumps. Although it's a dual carriage with the way this, it, it it's still pretty bumpy. It's a dual carriage where you can do more than 30 mile an hour, mate. Wow. Losing the will to live, but I, I need to pull off in the lay by here and get the camera off my roof. As I was saying before, real comfortable seats. They feel very, very well padded. We've got uh, sat-nav, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, and uh, there you go, you've got, that's the sat-nav there, uh, telling the climate outside, media, my phone, and also, if you click there and then go to eco data, and uh, driving style, You've uh, got quite a nice display there in eco data. Automatic, we've got paddle shift on the steering wheel here. It is really nice to drive. Um, let's just see if I click there. Um, directions that takes you to the sat nav. Press screen to continue. So nice big display there. You get your climate control here. You've also got heated seats. It's a bit late through that last one, but. Uh, not this. 
So heated seats there, three position, air conditioning. It has a display on the dash as if it was lane departure. I, uh, I should perhaps have done a, a little bit of studying on this before I came out. Good turn of speed, even faster than the little van there. Let's just uh, get to 70, 70 miles an hour. Wow, this, uh, even on position one, this seat is hot. Just creeping away with me there. As far as speed goes, very, very smooth, nice and quiet, very, very comfortable. 70 miles an hour, round about 1600 revs, I would say. Now, I noticed before, if we go back into mode, let's see, flip that. 70 miles an hour it's telling you the speed limit here and you've got where to map view information emergency there's the home screen media climate um, eco data which we saw before driving style advanced trip so, uh, plenty of buttons to play with there. I think that one's, if we go into that, settings, system, display, system, a, a whole load of stuff there. Most stuff gets set once and then you never touch it again. Just try the cruise control in a, in a short while. As I say, I'm, I'm pretty sure everything works on this. It's, uh, it's been extremely well looked after. So anybody who keeps a, a stack of two pound coins never wants to get caught anywhere <laughs> would never want to break down I'm pretty sure so keeps on top of the car rear wiper that's fine front wiper spraying nice heated front screen as well nice big door pockets big front center armrest here and uh, in there you've got your SD card for your sat nav, a USB and auxiliary in. It's highlighted there green, so it's picked the lines up. Yes, it's it's just it's just telling me that I've gone over the line there without indicating. Just do it again. I can't, I can't tell whether it's shaking the wheel or... Just... No, I can't tell, but it, it's, <laughs> it's telling me not, not to be a, a numbskull and uh, make sure I indicate anyway. That's the least it's doing.
could drive this all day. And, and probably will do. It's uh, again the type of owner, it's come in with three quarters of a tank. The, uh, the chap has actually um, given up driving, which is a shame because uh, I'm pretty sure this must have been his pride and joy. go around there again so mode switch there change from station what you want we'll just go back onto source there I'm quite got the hang of that <laughs> what, what is wrong with just a button This, this is lovely to drive. And uh, drives like a Range Rover Sport and <laughs> quite a bit more economical. And now we've got another white van overtaking us. In the outside lane, good luck going around this uh, bend here. In fact, I'm just going to hang back, I think. Even this, that's a terrible bend. Yeah, I thought so. Mr. Uber. Not a bad taxi, that. Although I said, said it drives like a Range Rover Sport, it's just a little bit more manoeuvrable. I mean, obviously don't feel as big and bulky because it's not, but has the same sort of comfort and uh, kind of imposing stature on the road. People think twice before they pull out in front of you. Well, that's, that's just lovely. Front and rear parking sensors, source, Bluetooth audio, that's just loading now, let's see what's playing, oh, there you go, oh, red hot chilli peppers. Can't play too much, otherwise uh, YouTube will cut the soundtrack off. Right, let me <laughs> let me get back to this. I'm enjoying it so much. So that's cancelled there. So that's set. So it's one touch set, which is really good on the uh, uh, Land Rovers. Unfortunately, we're just coming to a place where uh, I can't really set the cruise at the moment. It's a shocking place. This people doing 50 on the motorway so there you go cruise is on so that's working and we can increase the speed we're just going up there I've got my thumb on the switch we'll just get to 70 
so I'm just going to have to uh, cut in myself here. 70 miles an hour, set cruise. Yeah, 1600. 1600 revs. Car's lovely. I'll show you how to set the sat nav. Ah, right. I could. I went over the white line then without indicating, and I could feel the uh, the steering wheel vibrating there to warn me. I've got to say, if I was in a semi-drowsy state or I dozed off and try it again, no, I didn't do anything then. I, that's not going to wake me up. <laughs> you'd, uh, you'd be lucky if you could wake me up with a starting pistol, let alone a little, uh, like, steering wheel tremble. This, this roundabout, everybody seems to go everywhere. Nobody seems to know where they're going for some reason. It is confusing, I have to say. So you, you've always got to have your wits about you. Traffic lights stay on long enough for two cars to get through. And a big lorry there. We don't want to get caught up with. it's amazing just at this junction just how sitting up just a little bit higher helps to see where you're going if you're in a if you're in a sports car you've no idea you coming up the hill there and then you've got kind of three junctions Let's set the cruise again this is just a lovely car We've also got speed limit there from what I can see. Yeah, I can I can feel it again. We're just trying to get it to uh so it's got lane departure warning, I suppose that's that's what that is. This, uh, this is its sort of natural habitat in the country. So I'll, uh, I'll finish the test drive there anyway. This is a beautiful car. I am probably the best or one of the best on the market and uh, I don't think you'd be disappointed. I couldn't see any marks on it at all. It's just just nice. Pirelli's like brand new, if not very, very recent. And no marks on the inside, no wear anywhere, uh, no scuffs, no, no ring marks on anything. It's just a lovely car. <laughs>